Here now to talk about this, Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney, Fox News military analyst. General, great to see you. Well, it is clear that Donald Trump is following through on what he said he would do during the campaign, put more scrutiny on refugees arriving from the Middle East, particularly from areas where ISIS is known to exist and where ISIS, by the way, has been known to infiltrate refugees in the past. What's wrong with greater scrutiny? Nothing, David. He's spot on. He's the first commander in chief in at least eight years, and you can go back to some of the problems of the Bush administration, that is clearly identifying the threat what it is. It is radical Islam, and so you have to associate all those attributes that radical Islam have to what uh, the threat is, and then correlate, and you come up what you've got to do. That's why he's yeah. got this ban. Now, I, that ban we, we, knew, we knew there would be pushback from the people that supported President Obama's position where he didn't mention radical Islam. Uh, and in fact, today uh, we had the lead editorial in the New York Times. Here it is. I think Islam hates us. Uh, they're talking about how uh, because of what's happening, because of this extra scrutiny on refugees, because we're going to keep Gitmo open, because we may even use waterboarding, that in fact they'll hate us even more than they already Already did. Uh, I don't think Donald Trump is going to be moved by these messages, do you? Not after 15 years, David. We finally figured out we're not the problem. They are the problem. They are attacking us. He's identifying it. He's marshalling not only the United States, but our European and our Asian allies to how we defeat this. And the Muslim nations themselves have not been responsible for destroying radical Islam. They created it from Saudi Arabia. Now they've got to defeat it. And we can help them, but they've got to defeat it. And, and, and reinforcing Gitmo, not closing down it, but reinforcing Gitmo, uh, turning it less into kind of a, a camp than, than into more into kind of a Joe Arpaio sort of prison. I mean, I, I, frankly, I don't think that's a bad idea, particularly when you think of how hardened these terrorist suspects are. Yeah, look, Gitmo is Club Med. And, and Obama let 200 of them, almost 200, out. Yeah. And probably 60 to 100 of them are going to return to the battlefield and kill Americans. David, that didn't pass the smell yeah. test. By the way, extreme vetting, uh, that proposal has been delayed until tomorrow. We'll uh, talk about that tomorrow when it happens. But I have to do one last thing with you, General, which is that uh, some Democratic lawmakers want to take away from the president a power that every president has had since Harry Truman, uh, which is first strike using nuclear weapons. Now, again, God forbid we ever have to do it. We did it once under Truman, haven't had to do it since. Now lawmakers want to take that power away from the president. What do you think about that? They're insane. Why would you want to decrease the credibility of our nuclear deterrent? Whether it's first strike, which we have publicly said we will not do, but there may be a situation that it's minutes before that you go ahead and do it. But uh, take no options off the table for our nuclear deterrent forces. It has given us peace since the end of World War II. It has been hugely successful. Why would anyone want to change that, David? Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney, good to see you, General. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, David.